We love you. We love you. We glorify you. We thank you. Today is Papa Johnson's birthday. Holy Trinity and Mother Mary, we thank you for blessing Papa Johnson, his family, and his mission with your abundance, grace, love, peace, and mercy and blessing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Praise God. Okay. We can start today's session. Praise God. So today we are, we are learning on spirit, soul, and body. Okay. And today's, uh, you know, if you want to, if you can only understand this topic, you have to be very attentive. I will ask questions at the end. Okay. I will ask you questions. You, you have to listen very carefully and you will have to answer me. Okay. Yes. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Okay, so man is a three part being. Okay, man is a three part being. We are a spirit, we possess a soul, and we live in a house called a body. Okay, we will go to a scripture first and we'll go deep. When you go to 1 Thessalonians 5:23. Five, five, twenty-three. Can I read 
But yeah, we can read. And when the God of peace sanctify you only, and I pray God you your own spirit and soul and body preserve blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please God. Now, what do you think this scripture is telling us? The scripture is telling us we we are a three part being: a spirit, and soul, and body. And body. Yes. So, do you have a spirit? Do you have a spirit? Yes. No. 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 We no. We are the spirit. Have a spirit. spirit. Are a spirit. Yes. We are a spirit being. We do not have a spirit. We are a spirit being. We possess a soul. And we live in a house called a body. Now we usually think we are a two-part being. Yes, we are a two-part being. That is the soul and the body. But the scripture clearly says spirit and soul and body. So according to God's way, we are a three-part being. That is a spirit, a soul, and a body. Yes. We think we are only a body and a soul. We only have a body and a soul. But uh, whatever God thinks, He writes in His Word, and His Word says that we are a three-part being. Yes, we are a three-part being. And that is, we have, we are a spirit. We do not have a spirit. We are a spirit. We possess a soul, and we live in a house called a body. So, this is what it is. This spirit. And soul and body. So the blue, the blue part, the outside part is the body. The white middle part is the soul, and the middle part is the spirit. Okay, you can see it better. So that is what we are learning today. So God is saying we are a three-part being. We are a spirit. We possess a soul, and we are a body. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, can I touch your body? Yes. 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 Can I touch your soul? Means your mind. Can I touch your mind? Your soul. Yes. 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 I can yes. touch your soul, your mind. I can touch. How can I touch? My words. My words. My words. I speak. Yes? My words. Yes. Now, if I say a joke, will aren't you laugh? Yes. If I say something yes. that is bad, bad news, will aren't you be sad? Yes. yes. If I say a good news, will aren't you be happy? Yes. yes. Okay. In the beginning, when I said uh, you have to listen attentively, I will take, I will ask questions. Now, did that affect you? You will listen carefully. Yes? yes. Yes. So I can touch your mind, your soul, through the words I speak. Yes. We were learning the other yes. day. Word determines yes. my thinking. My word determines my thinking. So my thinking is in my soul, my mind. Yes. So when I speak words, I'm touching your soul, your mind. Yes. So we think we cannot touch our, uh, your mind. I can touch your mind. Okay, praise God. Now, what is in the soul? What is in the soul? I think. Arun, Enoch, can you repeat? Your voice is very low. I think. In our soul, in our soul. Okay. In our soul. The spirit is not there. Spirit and soul are two things. Okay. In our soul. So see. You see here. Um, soul and spirit are different. Yeah. Soul and spirit are different. Yes. The yes. so soul. In my soul. It is the imagination. The thinking. The decisions. The feelings. The emotions. Yes. That is in our soul. Okay. So, our soul, um, there are emotions.
emotions yes yeah. there are emotions there are feelings uh, we make decisions in our soul the five senses are in our soul yes praise god now okay we'll go deep now if i say a uh, good news will what will be your emotions good good yeah, good happy yes your emotions will be happy but if i say a bad news sad sad bad. yes sad now why is it like that why will you be sad sad because it is a bad news okay because my emotions are according to my physical senses what you are telling me what i can see what i can feel and what can i hear what i am speaking yes that is my my emotions are based on my physical senses not on the word of god that's why i became sad but if that same bad news comes to me and i say the scripture i speak the scripture now if i say this scripture again and again and again and again and don't let the bad news dominate me my emotions are now coming in align with god's word yeah but if i if i you know it is my decision i can make them align with god's word or i can uh, i can make them continue and um uh, according to the world yes praise god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah you understanding yes are you understanding yes yes okay if you have any question just stop me i will explain again or repeat again you can study again because this is a very big topic praise god so i my emotions can be aligned with god's word i can bring them into alignment with god's word or i can let them be according to the world to what the new the what i get the information i get from the world what i can see yes my physical senses will tell me something and that's how thoughts come i will see my problem and that's when thoughts attack me yes praise god hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so the emotions are in our soul because our emotions um are we you know all this world all this time okay our emotions were based according to what the world is telling us according to our physical senses yes now the emotions have now when i have the word of god i have to bring it into line with god's word you know um, uh, the soul when the soul agrees with the spirit that is the time my emotions are in the soul means my emotions will also be uh, um, ac- uh, according to the spirit and that is according to the word of god because whatever is in the spirit is of the word of god the spirit will always tell me according to the word of god i'll give an example you know uh, you know before um uh, uh i so you know what uh, this is like a testimony as well you know before i should wake up morning 9 o'clock and whole day i should be tired i used to be uh, i used to be sleepy i used to be yeah. used to la- lazy okay getting up 9 o'clock and now i get up 8 o'clock and i'm not tired the whole day i am so fresh why do you think that is why do you think that is okay i'll explain my spirit is telling me you get up and you can say the scriptures what you say okay i say concerning worry and fear so you um, the my spirit is telling me get up and you can say concerning worry and fear and the body says sleep yeah body body says why well, you could sleep yes your body says that yes. now i can make a decision to my my emotions to do my emotions can be according to the physical senses what the body is telling me to sleep and i can go and sleep or my i'll bring my emotions my soul my thinking according to the god's word where my body doesn't have any more power over me yes so it's like this yeah so you know 
in the morning we feel like sleeping yes sometimes so yes. this soul the white bit in the middle where i'm pointing to this soul has to agree with this yellow bit the spirit and that is the time the body the blue bit doesn't have any more power yeah because two these two agree together yeah spirit and the soul agreeing it together now the body doesn't have any more excess it has to obey what the spirit is telling me and that is the time my spirit has the dominion over my soul and my body or my body can dominate me and my soul can agree with the body where my spirit has also to agree praise god hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so in the morning we don't want to get up we want to sleep that is our emotions our feelings are telling us to sleep because our emotions our feelings are according to what the world is trying to tell us the physical senses but when i say no i will wake up i say a scripture i can do all things so christ who strengthens me and i get up and i start to say my scriptures that is the time i'm bringing my emotions aligning with god's word so the if i'm bringing the soul according to the spirit means my emotions are in the soul and that is the time i'm bringing the emotions also to the word of god praise god hallelujah but i have to speak the scripture you know you i have to speak it that is the time i'm bringing it in line in god's word praise god hallelujah thank you jesus so um, you know um, emotions and my feelings my feelings will tell me to sleep and that's where my decisions i can make a decision to go and sleep so my decisions also is a part of the soul of the mind the decisions that i can make decisions according to the word of god or i can make decisions according to the world i can make um, in the example i gave i can make decision to go and sleep or i can make a decision to obey god's word and to speak the scriptures praise god hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so um, my emotions my feelings my choosing my decisions my imaginations all this is in my soul in my mind okay my thinking my physical senses my five senses are in the soul now has god given us our five senses yes yep. yes and my five senses are in the soul okay they are in the soul yes the soul yes okay the white bit can you see that yes yes praise god hallelujah so my my physical senses are in the soul now god has given us our physical senses because without our physical senses i will not be able to live a proper life on this earth it will be very difficult yes um, if i don't have the sense to not touch i'll put it my hands on everywhere yes i'll put him i'll put him on this on that on this and not yes praise god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you so my physical senses Uh, my god has only given us our physical senses okay but i can let the physical senses dominate me and that's when the emotions also the uh, emotions come you know my physical senses okay that is how my emotions build through my physical senses because my physical senses they tell me so many things which are according to the world yes praise god yes Yes. Hallelujah. So, my mm-hmm. physical senses will tell me everything which is according to the world and I can build my emotions on my physical senses based on the physical senses or I can base my emotion my physical senses will tell me my physical senses will tell me this that yes but i'm saying lord i'm going to go according to your word there is a time i'm bringing my emotions capturing them to according to god's word and now they don't have dominion over me they don't rule me my emotions my feelings uh, my senses they don't dominate me but instead god's word has a dominate on me god's word has a mastership over me god god's word is 
my soul and my spirit are growing together and my body has to obey remember i gave you the example the other day if um, uh, there is a judge and a robber robs two uh, one person went to court okay and now the judge is judging okay the robber says i didn't rob definitely but the person is saying i saw him rob and there is a witness okay two people second witness now these two people uh, the judge will go according to these two people but not the robber because the robber is only one but these two people are two they have more power they have both seen them with the physical eyes that they have robbed yes yes is that correct hello is that correct yes 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 in the same way um, when my my soul agrees with my spirit that is the time the body doesn't have any power so when my oh whoa. what is this um my my soul agrees with the spirit okay my body doesn't have any more excess no more power we are shutting up the body praise god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank, thank, you, thank you jesus praise be to so my soul when it agrees with the spirit when my soul agrees with the spirit my body doesn't have any more excess the word of god has the excess praise god so do you have a spirit yes we have a okay no we are a spirit yeah we, we are, are a spirit we are a spirit yeah we do yeah, not we have a spirit. a spirit we are a spirit okay Oh, when you came a little bit late, okay, that's why I didn't. Yeah, know. I did not know when. Strictly, I came late. Okay, it's okay. Praise God. So we do not have a spirit. We are a spirit being. Yes, that's what the question is. The main question is: Are we? Do we have a spirit? No, we are a spirit being. Yes. God, we are a spirit. God has created us in the spirit, and we are a spirit. and we possess a soul what do you mean by possess we'll see if anybody knows to have it's something maybe. yeah it's like a belonging yes yeah yes it's like something that belongs to you yes that you possess that you have yes so your spirit possesses a soul means have uh, the the soul belongs to the spirit yes and the spirit and the soul live in a house okay a house okay called a body and without this body i don't have access on this earth without my physical body uh, without this flesh i not don't have any access on this world i will not be able to see you you will not be able to see me praise god hallelujah thank you jesus now God is a spirit, angels are spirit, demons are spirit. We also are spirits, but we need a physical body to live in this world. The angels are spirits, the demons are spirit. God is a spirit. We are also a spirit. God has also created us as a spirit, but we need a physical body to live in this world. Praise God. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Without a physical body, we are not allowed. It's like a barrier. Not allowed. We are not allowed to live in this world. We need a body. Praise God! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, there is nothing in the body. There is nothing. The body doesn't count. The body comes from dust, goes back to the dust, because God created the mud. The the body from the mud and when we are dead the body is getting buried and that's where it just goes yes but our soul and our spirit are the one which are important and our soul is the whole the soul the decision the choosing you know um, in our soul there are choose one minute helicin yeah? helicin yeah? one minute yes um is the kittens cannot open their camera ask them 
because they are sending the messages they cannot open their camera yeah um, hello can somebody open their camera yeah one co open their can, video sorry yeah one co-host can open yeah yeah they can open right yeah and so oh, because okay. they send me the message no they cannot open the video okay then uh shyly you can open their videos all if they are asking yeah no it's okay can uh, gina oh. open your video it's okay for you you can just try and check and then you can put it off again or otherwise i will ask to start video no 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 it's okay uh jeremiah is working sister is working is working work. yeah okay okay because yeah. they are sending me all of them you know that they cannot open their yeah. video that's why now i can see most of them sister i can see most of them on the video okay then okay then fine yeah. okay 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 carry on elistin yeah thank you yes, please go uh one jeremiah cannot open his mic it seems um I tell him to try again now try again jeremiah No okay. Yes. Yes okay. Please call. Yeah. Okay. You can start yeah. You can carry on Alistair. Yes. Yeah, so the you know, our soul where what is in our soul? What is in our soul? What is in our soul? We just saw what is in our soul. Uh, soul actually has in, uh, imaginations, emotions, feelings. Yeah, decisions, choosings. Yes, all these things are in our soul, and all these things, our emotions, our feelings, our decisions, our choosing, is all are all according to the world. Our emotions are according to the world. Our decisions are according to the world. Our imaginations are according to the world. Our thinking is according to the world. All is according to the world. And now, when I am born again, I have to renew my soul, renew my mind. That the decision will be according to the word of God. The imagination can be according to the word of God. The thinking can be according to the word of God. I have to renew my mind and change my thinking that it can align with God's word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So the body doesn't have any uh, anything which is really uh, the body just comes from the dust, goes back to the dust. Only the body needs some healing sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Now, yes. okay. Well, yes. But our spirit is the you know everything. How can you know what is in our spirit? How can you know what is in our spirit? How anybody? What okay. was the question? How can I know what is in my spirit? I know. By the word of God, correct, Enoch. Yes, correct. Okay, we will ex. Uh, we will go deep in that. So my. i can only know everything which is in my spirit is according to the word of god because the word of god is a spiritual mirror which reflects what is in my spirit it shows me you know how you see uh, now uh, we are looking in the camera yes in the laptop or on any device yes and there yeah. we can see our face yes it's yeah. like a mirror what into right now we can see our own faces yes yes in the same way when we look into the word of god the word of god is the thing that reflects reflects um what uh, the the my spirit the spiritual things that's why it always tells me uh, love one another what love God kind of love because God is love. God is a spirit. He is walking me, walking with me, and love is also a spirit. So everything, everything is a spirit. God, whatever God says in the word, it God is reflecting it through His word. Okay, you know. Also, I'll give another example. Now, uh, Enoch. Okay. Okay. 
If I say uh, Shalom is wearing a green T-shirt, will you believe that? Will you no. believe? Will you believe? No. 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 Why? Because she is wearing a blue T-shirt. She is wearing a blue T-shirt. Yes. Now you can believe that camera more than me. You didn't see her in the physical. How can you believe? No, I. I see her in the camera. Now that is real, but it, but that is a you are saying is a lie. So you can believe the camera more than me, yes? Yes. Yeah, because you can see. In the same way, is the word of God a camera of heaven? Yes. 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 And does it show me all the spiritual things? Yes. 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 Praise God. So, uh, do we uh, do we doubt the physical camera, the natural camera? No, but are we doubting the word of God sometimes? Yes. yes. So that is the time I'm a double-minded person. Means my soul mind is not agreeing with my spirit mind. Yes, that is the time I'm a double-minded person. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, I can only know what is in my spirit, how to work that thing, and what it looks like only through God's word. There is no other way. Only God's word can reflect. Yes, is the only thing that can reflect what is in my spirit. Yes, praise God. Now. Uh, Okay, I will ask you some questions. I told you I will ask you. Now is the time. I'll ask okay. you some questions. So, what is it now, soul? Uh, can you just repeat what you said? I will ask you some questions. I told you I will ask in the beginning. So, what is it now, soul? I am more sad. I don't ask me. Do you know? Souls have imaginations, emotions, and feelings. So yes, five senses, decisions. Yes, okay. Why do we need a body? Now, why we 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 looked at that? Why do we need a body? If if it's we don't have a body, we can't live on here. Yeah, oh, yeah, without a body, we don't have any access to live on this earth. Ah uh, yes, a without a body, um, we cannot live in this world. Yes, praise God. Yes, Owen, praise God. Now, where is the spirit and where is the soul? Hello, where is the spirit? Where is the soul? In our body. In our body. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. In our body. Praise God. So our spirit and our soul lives in a house called a body. I told you in the beginning, this we are a spirit. We possess a soul and we live in a house called a body. So our spirit and our soul they are living in a house just to live on this world that is our body. Okay. Do we have a spirit? Yes. No. We are a spirit. No. We are a spirit. No, we are a spirit. We are a spirit. Are a spirit, yes. We do not have a spirit. We are a spirit. Yes. God yes. is a spirit. The angels are spirits. The demons are spirits. And we are also a spirit. Praise God. Now, how many parts are we? How many parts? We. Do you mean how many parts? Yeah, three. Uh, yes, three. Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. So we are three parts. We are a spirit. We possess a soul, and we live in a house called a body. Praise God. Praise God. All correct. God. Yes. Praise God. Praise now, God. Why do, we, why do we need a soul? Why do we need a soul? For our five senses, decision. Yeah, but okay. What is 
within our soul, our five senses, our decisions, our emotions, our feelings. Okay. Then if all these things are in our soul, why do we need these things? So that we can like live on earth, communicate with people. I mean, so we can live on earth. I mean, yeah. Soul. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the souls. Um, the souls. He. He or she raised. Uh, I, no, I, I said this. Okay. So, okay. We need our soul to live in this world. Without our decisions, we cannot make decisions. Without our five senses, we cannot see, we cannot touch and make decisions. Without our emotions, we will not be able to express what we feel. When our friends ask us, how are you? We will not... Uh, be able to tell them because we don't have an emotion. Yes? So we need a soul. God has created us with a soul. Praise God. Okay, we'll continue. Can we go to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12? Crystal, you raised your hand. You want to read? Can I read also? Okay, you can. Can I? Um. Okay. Um. Shaili, we will take another scripture so you can read that scripture, and uh, Wayne and uh, Crystal can read this Hebrews chapter four verse twelve. Okay. Alice, it's fine. Let Shaili and Owen read. It's fine. I'll read next. Okay, if that's yeah. all right, then Shaili and um, Owen can read. Okay, and, then. and there's one more person who raised his hand. So it's the sources. I don't know. It's I think that's Ruel. Ruel, yeah. Yes. yes. So Ruel, you want to read? You can read with Shaili next time, yes? Praise God. Hebrews chapter. Four. What? Hebrews chapter four, verse twelve. Twelve. Read. Okay. Yes, please, God. Wayne and Shiley. Okay. For the word of God is quick and powerful. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a dis discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes, Christelle, you can also read. Crystal, are you there? Can I go next because uh, I'm meant to go after. Okay. Shelly, you can read because Crystal is not coming. Shelly, you can read. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any towards sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of soul. And um okay. Piercing of the wider as under of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and it is a descendant of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So for the word of God is quick, so quick, it's very quick and yes. powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So, if I want to differentiate between the soul and the spirit, only the word of God can differentiate. Yes? Only the word can 
give me the difference what is the difference between soul and the spirit praise god hallelujah so only the word of god yes praise god so um, you see here okay spirit soul and body spirit this spirit and the soul can only be differentiated only by the word of god the soul and spirit will look the same the soul and the spirit will look the same yes but only the word of god can differentiate between the soul and the spirit praise god hallelujah thank you jesus praise god hallelujah thank you jesus only the, only the soul yeah only the soul and the spirit can be differentiated by the word the word is the only thing the word of god it is sharper than any two edged sword it says and it will it can divide it we think the soul and the spirit is the same yes we think the soul and the spirit is the same but it yes. is not the word of god can divide uh, you can try however you want to divide but only when you understand the word of god it can divide the soul and the spirit what is the difference between soul and what is in the soul and what is the difference between spirit and what is in the spirit praise god hallelujah oh, hallelujah thank you jesus there is no other way to identify our spirit because through our senses we can never get to the spiritual life. we can never get connected they look alike but they're different yes 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 yeah it's just like um uh, we all have a nose we all have eyes we all have mouth yeah but we are different creatures yes they all the yes. some may be tall some may be short some may be fat some may be thin in the same way they both look alike but they are both different and only the word of god did divide praise god hallelujah thank you hallelujah. hallelujah so we can never get connected to the spiritual realm through our physical senses we can never get connected we need to get we can only get connected through uh, to the spiritual realm only by the word of god praise god hallelujah praise god thank hallelujah you. now the thank body doesn't have yeah now uh, i'll give an example okay if i only say the scripture three times will my soul agree with the spirit no if oh. i only say three times in the three or four times in the whole day and don't say any more will my soul agree with the spirit no No. Okay, I'll give another example. Can you say I will eat breakfast only one time and then the whole day I will not get hungry? Yes, no. you can say. No, no, you will get hungry. In the same way, you cannot just say one time scripture and then a whole day you will not say. No, no, no. You have to say it whole day, twenty four hours, seven every minute, every nanosecond. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And now the body. you know the body doesn't have any connection direct connection with the spirit the body doesn't have any direct connection with the spirit yes it doesn't have it because the body and the spirit are different they don't have a direct connection praise god hallelujah so you see this the body and the spirit are both different they cannot get connected yeah the spirit and the body are different they cannot get connected uh, they cannot get direct connection you have to connect to the soul that means you have to renew my soul to agree with the spirit that's when the body has to obey and that is the time i'm the word of god is dominating me praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah thank you jesus 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 thank you Are you still your voice is breaking? Yes, your voice is breaking. Okay, my internet connection is unstable. It seems. Wait, I'll just check my internet connection. Now, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, my internet is showing connected, but it's saying unstable. So, okay, praise God. Okay, we can. Can we go to Genesis chapter one? Verse twenty-six. Uh, Can I read? 
can i also read okay shalom you can read janel you can read crystal you also wanted to read ruel you can also read yeah all can read first uh 26 and go okay i'll read the next one no there will be no next one so i all can read okay shalomi you can go first then ruel then can i read okay yeah you can also read okay um, okay you can all raise your hand so i know who wants to read and shalomi you can go ahead okay Genesis one twenty six and God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth." Oh, praise God! Then, uh, Ruel, you can read. You raise yes. your hand next. Yes, and God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth." Okay, next is Janelle. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea." And over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Okay, Crystal. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the sky, air, and over the cattle, and." Over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. You know. And God said, "Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over." All the earth and that oh, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Okay. Does anybody else want to read? Anybody? You can raise your hand right now. No. No. Nobody. Okay. Please go. And God said, "Let us make man in our image." Or me. After our likeness. So now, am I if I'm created in the likeness and image of God? Does that mean his nose looks like my nose? Yeah. Does it mean that? Can you repeat the question? Okay. God said we are created in His likeness and after His likeness and image. So does that mean his nose looks like my nose or his eyes? His eyes look like my eyes? No. 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 So what does that mean? That he imagined the face and he made. Okay. In our image means our spirit. God is a spirit, and we also are spirit, and we are created in the likeness and image of God in our spirit. Yes, in our spirit, God has created us in His likeness and image. Praise God, Hallelujah, thank you Hallelujah. Jesus. So I'm created in the likeness and image of God in my spirit, and He has given us the dominion in our tongue to speak and to have dominion. And God created us in our spirit, in our image and likeness. You can check in a different translation that is amplified. Uh, it says that it's He created us in our spirit. Okay, so he created us in our spirit exactly like him. We are not God; we are like God. We are not God, but we are like God. This God. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can end today's session. Praise God. Yes, praise God. Yeah, praise God. So, any testimonies? No. No. Not me. One testimony which just happened today. Actually, my uncle, uh, he had, he was before suffering for, from some, he had some sugar problems, some back problems, some leg problems. He was like complete. He was completely sick before, like all types of problems, some legs, some hands, some back, spinal cord, necks, and all those kind of surgeries, heart problems, and all that. And uh, my grandmother, I mean my uh, mother's mother, she like told me that he's not keeping well. So then I just sent him like a message that wishing a speedy recovery, and uh, and I just sent him a message that that um that uncle, you can even confess uh, Isaiah fifty three four by Jesus the wounds and stripes, you're already healed. So I sent him the scripture as well as I prayed. So the, today morning, as I was just uh preparing for my online class. So then my grandmother, like she told me that he's already healed. He couldn't, I'll tell you his condition. He was like not able to walk from one room to another. And just today when my grandmother called him, he's like, he's like driving his own car and going like to another this place. Praise God. Walking Praise from God. The, Praise God. Room. I also I, have one testimony. So when? This testimony have a testimony happened just now itself healing happened. Um from yesterday night I had too much um toothache pain um below my um on the last two tooth it was paining it was paining a lot. My mother gave me um cold water to goggle and she put cinnamon between those two teeth. And then um, while we were playing carom after that, um, when we were playing carom in the in my mind, I, I told pain, you have no power over me and my um, body. And then I went to sleep in the morning. Now I came, there was still pain, but the pain decreased a bit. And now, now it is... Uh, um, now it is um, now we are doing the ministry um i just now few seconds back i told pain you have no power over me and my body and then the pain completely disappeared praise god praise god hallelujah thank you Yes, it says, I send my verse and you are healed. So, Alistair was saying, it's God's verse and you are healed. Do you understand? Sometimes you don't have to do the healing, but the listening the word of God, you get healing. Praise yes. God. That's how it goes. That's right, Alistair. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Now we can hear you. Now we can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. my internet okay. connection is unstable again. Oh, okay. So I, I can like, hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, sister, we can hear you, all of us. Sister? Sister? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, 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 sister. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We can hear you, sister. Continue, sister. Okay. I didn't hear two minutes. I got, I got one call, so I didn't hear what happened in the middle just now. Two minutes, yeah. They got a nice testimony. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Yes, yes. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay. So, okay. You know, I got yeah. another testimony. Like you know, Alistair was telling like when when he was uh, getting up like nine o'clock and he felt tired. Yeah, he used to have it before problem, you know. You know what used to happen before when he used to get up at uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock late also. He used to still be like drowsy and sleepy like that, you know. But now that all is gone, you know. Because since he started using the word of God, he now, like when he get up in the morning, 8 o'clock, he sleeps at half past 11 at night. In the middle, there's, there's no sleep. Yeah. There's, there's God. God. Yeah. So, you there's know, God that when you... 
when yes, you feed your spirit with the word of god yeah your yes, spirit becomes strong strong yes yes, yes. okay continue god. sister yeah yeah so it's the same thing you know you, even i wake up uh, in the morning and then i used to get like you know uh, afternoon nap and then i said myself why i'm getting it even i couldn't listen the like you know marathi section and all of the preaching yes. and then i got yes. like you know sleepy then i command the sleep which is like the laziness the spirit of laziness and the sleep to get out yes. of my body and from that yes. day i'm not anymore having a nap in the afternoon like you know i wasn't having it before but yeah. you know even general, even even me as well sister when i i used to be like fresh no when once i start reading the bible no i used to feel like sleepy before you know and the same thing even i did i commanded the spirit and rebuked the spirit then it's, it's like you know now it's not there hello yeah can you hear me sister? yeah uh, please yes, go yes, yes. yes yes so you know that how it goes you have to yes. just command and then it will go yes please yeah. go please go please go please go yeah you can continue sister yeah so is there another testimony sister is how it happened as today yeah it's like uh, my husband he was like not coming from the work it was like he finishing his duty at 5 o'clock so then you want to say okay shyly want to say okay so um okay uh, so um my dad had to finish his cuz he's a bus driver so he had to finish his work at 5 5:30 5 5:30 no, no, no 5 o'clock 5 p.m. um and but he didn't come and then we were waiting and it was like 7:30 uh, p.m. in here and we were a bit like worried about like where is he why is he not coming on his actual like time so my mom uh, uh had uh, my dad's um what company number so they called um we thought something happened so my dad my mom called my dad's work company and then they said uh he's actually he's still driving because of the tra- because of the traffic we, and they and uh, so they gave him more like kind of more so it was only because uh we thought he was still driving but it was only because there was like a tra- big traffic so he couldn't come home but then afterwards uh, my mom prayed and by that by instantly like not instantly but like after like i can say 10 minutes i think uh, my dad was at his bus garage and then he came home sir so ka sar ke dad dampa ko Please God, don't agree. Hello, Alison. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, praise God. Wait, wait a second, dear. Yeah, you know how it goes. The testimony because Shaili said half, and then you know Shaili was making me nervous. Mama called the his company. Why he is late and all? She was pushing. She was just telling me, Mama called. Uh, speak the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. Where is he? So you know, I prayed first, and then I got him. Like you know, Holy Spirit told me, like you know, he is. or uh, driving okay and then uh, shyly was making me nervous and all and then you know the thoughts you know the thoughts yeah <laughs> then the thoughts have to be like too much then i just the holy spirit told me to confess this uh, look for 18 and 19 like you know in the meanwhile so you know i can be settled because shyly was like worried more than everything so then i confess it and then i command like i i told angels to make him the way to come back because it was just 10 minutes and it take 2 hours in that uh, traffic do you understand so as soon as i command the angels to make the way i let him uh, like you know make his way open and then he can come and like in 10 minutes he gave me a call saying it i'm i'm done and my duty is all finished praise god so so praise that how is the testimony yesterday was praise god yeah Yeah, so we That's don't what, have to yeah. worry, but you know, worry. Holy Spirit tell us, like you know, what you have to. The thoughts was too much, like you know, negative thoughts, these thoughts, these thoughts, you know. <laughs> and then, like you know, we have like Holy Spirit tell me to confess the scripture, and then I was settled, like you know, because Shyly was pushing pressure on me too. <laughs> like Mama, come on, do the call, call. So you know, it was like too much. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. 
So today is Papa Johnson's birthday. So all the children should, uh, shall do the prayer for him. Yeah, for his birthday. Yeah. Or say yeah. the song. Or you can all sing the song. And then you can do the prayer. Jinal, say yes. So you have to unmute. Yes, what song should we do then? Happy birthday song. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Praise God. Sister. Yes, sister. sister uh, yes. We can make it separate after finishing this. So we can send in the song and the prayer, you know. Is it okay? You want to do it separate? Yeah, it's up to you. We can send no, you it can... after Mama. for him, right? What do you want me to do? You can stop the recording now. No, how you? No, after the prayer, after this our prayer finished, huh? then we can all get together and sing a song for him and a small prayer, and then we can send it on the WhatsApp for him. Oh, okay, that will be great. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. So you can yeah. Yeah. Let us pray. Then I stop the recording, and then I can end okay, the recording. Okay. I do understand. Praise God. Okay. okay. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> So, yes. I don't know. Yes. You can do the prayer first. Can you, can you do the voice? God, so, does anybody I'm... want to do a prayer? Or... Sorry. Yeah. Go on, Alistair. You can do the prayer. Oh, sister. Fine. Sister. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Today, Priston, but they also is him, say, they sent me the text just now. Who's Where is Priston? Priston. Oh, Priston. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, happy, birthday, happy, birthday, happy birthday, Priston. Happy birthday, Priston. Oh, wow. Thank okay. you. Where is Priston? I can't see him. He's there. Hello? Uh, no video. No video is not no. on. Uh, uh, okay, he got cold. He seems. They just sent oh. me the text that he's sick. He got cold. Okay, by Jesus, when you are already healed, you already healed, no yes. More, no more cold. Amen. 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 Yes. 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 God. yes. Praise God. So we Jeremiah, can make a prayer. Something? Oh, yeah. Jeremiah, raise the hand. Yes. Uh, right, on right, my now, video. right now, I've got a call because I have an, a match tuition. So can I go? Yes, yes, Jeremiah. Yes, praise God. God yes, bless you. God. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Bye. Have a blessed day, Jeremiah. Yes. So yeah. we can make a prayer for Priston? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Go yes. on, baby. Yes. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, Lord. Lord, as we are in your presence, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, as it is Christian's birthday, we thank you, Lord, that he's blessed with abundant fruits. And he's blessed, Lord, and he's anointed, he's powerful. He is anointed by you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for you have a purpose for him, Lord. And let this purpose be fulfilled. And let him be a warrior of God, ready to work for you, Lord, in your kingdom. And you teach him, you guide him what he want, what you want him to do in his life. Thank you, Lord, for giving such a blessing to us, to his friends, to his family, to his parents, to his relatives. Thank you, Lord, for Christian Lord, that he is anointed. And thank you, Lord, for choosing him for a purpose, Lord. Thank you and praise you and glorify you. And the purpose that you have, Lord, let it be come into fulfillment and let him accomplish it in his life. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 You can sing a song of Priston as well, dear. Amen. 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 Sing a song. Dear. Yes, yeah. you can sing a song to Christian. Oh, it's God. God. Yeah, you can start. So, yeah, we'll yeah. Just, I'll just ask everybody to unmute. Yes. So we can all sing. Happy the mic is, my mic is unmuted already. Oh, it's okay. fine. You can unmute with that. I send you a message. 
to ask for unmute. Oh, yeah, my, my yes. mic is already unmuted. Okay, you can start. Video. Okay. You can start, start Alistair. Yeah, you can start. Yeah. Okay, we can start. Praise God. Alistair, you're muted. Oh, I got muted. No mistake. Maybe I got muted. Please God. Okay, we can start. I'll just uh, ask some people. Some people are still on uh, oh, mute. They want to unmute. Please God. So My mom people... unmute. Yeah. Can mute. Okay. Please God. So you can sing, guys. Please God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Do you not miss you? Do you not miss you? God bless you, Christian. Thank you. And on and your God's anointing on you every second of your life. God bless you, baby. Bye. Love you. Thank you. Yes, praise God. Praise God. Yes, Alistair, do you want to pray in charm, and then we can just. Goes. Yeah, sister, uh, sister, uh, wait, yeah. children, children, sister, uh, yeah. children, don't leave. Okay, we'll sing after after the recording stop. I will start again, and then we'll sing for Papa Johnson. Okay, last after praying the tongues. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we can pray in tongues for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> we can do an ending prayer first. Oh yes, Celestine. Yeah, you do. We do the ending prayer. Yes. So does yes. anybody want to do the ending prayer? Anybody? Yes. Anybody? No. No. Oh. No. Anybody? Shalomi, you want to do it? Oh uh, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Praise God. Yeah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Son and of the Holy Spirit. Come. Lord, we thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus, for whatever we have learned today. About the body, soul, and spirit, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for for making us learn this important topic, so we may learn about your word and we we may teach someone. Lord, we also thank you, Lord Jesus, for for Lord Jesus for Preston and for Brother Johnson, Lord, as as today is your birthday. Lord, may you bless them with good health and a long life, Lord Jesus. As Lord Jesus, as we go through the difficult times. Let us be more into your word, Lord Jesus. As during this lockdown, many people might be even feeling bored, or maybe in other cases. But Lord, as we are in the word of God, Lord Jesus, we have an opportunity to learn more about your word. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity during this lockdown, so that we can study your word through Zoom, online class, and on YouTube, whichever social media site which we can hear, and Lord, we can learn more about you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us so many facilities to learn about your word. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, and amen. Praise God. Yeah. Yes. So, we can pray in tongues. Kushi kirebe, 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 kirebe. Oh, 